Before the silicon chip changed the world, this was the king of technology. Meet the vacuum tube or thermionic valve, call it what you want. It wasn't invented for computers. It was born to help detect weak radio signals. Ambrose Fleming invented the first diode valve in 1904 to detect weak radio signals. He had what he later called a sudden, very happy thought as the idea dawned in his mind. In the early 1900s, at the dawn of radio technology, the signals were weak and hard to detect. A much better way was needed to detect them and rectify them, and this gave birth to the diode valve or the thermionic valve. And diodes were developed into triodes and tetrodes and pentodes and various other combinations. Moving on a bit, this 1916 R-type valve was a pioneer. It was a mass-produced triode that was used in many areas. But engineers started to realise that these valves could be used in many more areas than just radio. They were used in things like telephone amplifiers, gadgets, laboratories, all sorts of things. There were many areas where they were used. And by the 1930s, the tube or valve had firmly moved on from just being used for radio. Radio technology had actually evolved and given birth to electronics technology. From the first Fleming diode valve and then the 1916 R-type valve we saw to the dawn of computers, these glowing glass bottles were the foundation for the modern electronics technology we know today. And even now, they're still used in some equipment and some areas. For more deep dives into electronics technology in general, check out more of my videos.